Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries.
He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went, according to his custom, into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. That's from the, uh, the first reading today, from the first letter of John. If anyone says he loves God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. That talks about how deeply connected are our love for God and our love for each other. We can't be good Catholics without loving our brothers and sisters. We cannot be. It's the basis of living the Christian life, of course. And that first reading promotes that, that, makes that point. But today in the Gospel, Jesus also makes that point. He stands up to read, he unrolls the, the scroll. And what does he choose? He chooses this passage from Isaiah that talks about reaching out in corporal works of mercy to the blind, the imprisoned, to the poor. He talks about reaching out to others. He rolls it up. And everybody looks at him and says, well, they're talking about me. They're talking about me. I am the Christ. I am Jesus. What's the reaction of the people? Well, it's pretty good here, right? All spoke highly of him. And they were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. That sounds really good. You could argue with that, right? You've got to love your neighbor. Yes, that sounds good. They give the big thumbs up. But we know, we know that the following verses, because we've heard the story before, that good feeling doesn't last much longer. Right after this ends, Jesus goes on to expound on that. And he says, how so often, how so often, God has sent prophets not to this closed, chosen race of the Hebrew people, but has sent them out. He talks about the widow of Sidon, the leper from Syria. Jesus talks about not only these people in our tribe. He talks about how in salvation history, God has reached out to people outside of our own little tribe. At this, the mood changes in the synagogue. And that crowd turns into a mob and drives him out to a cliff where they intend to throw him down in hatred. Spoiler alert, he gets away. He makes his way through the crowd and walks off. Love of God. He who says he loves God but hates his neighbor is a liar. Whoever loves God must love his brother. From the first reading. Whoever loves God must love his brother. Not he should or it's a good idea or we suggest it strongly. Whoever loves God must love his brother. It is a requirement of the faith. It is a requirement of following God. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But he calls us to meet that challenge.
the Church's public witness and commitment to ending racism and oppression, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this country, so in need of God's guidance, may the Holy Spirit guide us in discerning actions that best serve the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who are elderly or homebound, may the Lord's companionship bring them peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. For young people in this community and beyond, may the Lord continue to nurture their faith and draw them closer to Himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have died, including Tom Pechkowski, Rich Mangello, and the woman who was shot to death in the Capitol building yesterday, may they find eternal rest with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For Arthur Madaloni, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving and faithful God, hear these prayers we have brought before you with sincere hearts, and answer them in accord with your divine will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be given.